with the bolus associated is the bolus associated. So now we've drawn that up and we've given it to our patient. Okay, so this don't matter no more because we've already given it to our patient. Now we've got to set up this IV pump. Okay, so we know that our order for a what a drip continuous drip is 12 units per kilogram per hour. Because I have my kilograms in my order, I need my weight of my patient 25,000 units over my 500. All right, so what's our first puzzle piece now? What's next? 12 units, okay, per kilogram per hour. What's my next puzzle piece? Do we have kilograms in our puzzle pieces? No, we don't, right? So we gotta do our conversions. So somebody asked me, they was like, why are conversions so important? Because they are your connecting puzzle pieces when you don't have what you need. So then we can do our 120 pounds. Boom, boom. And now what do we have? Milliliters at the top, hours at the bottom, right? So puzzle is complete. Let's do the math. All right, 500 times 12 times 120 divided by 25,000 divided by 2.2. So does this make sense now when it's like the bolus versus the IV drip? You do the bolus first to get that medicine started, and then you do your drip to continue that therapy until they stop it. 